I really enjoy the way that the light makes contact with my face. I just enjoy appreciating it. It's cool. I feel like it's got some, like, David Bowie vibes going on, but probably not the right angle. Anyway, it's just cool. It's kind of like a, like, <laughs> Um, I guess that this is probably going to be along the lines of the video that I made yesterday, um, kind of dealing with anger, dealing with, uh, darkness within oneself, um, something that I've learned to and been taught to kind of, like, suppress and not explore. I would argue that codependency really fucks a person up on a very real level. Um, it, again, codependency is how you see me, is how I see me, how you feel about me is how I feel about me. This light just keeps getting more and more intense. I love it. I love celebrating the sunlight. Um, the intuition has always been present. That's really what the theme of this video is about, the intuition, right? Because what does it feel like for me when I am codependent? It feels very, um, I don't want to, I don't want to judge. I don't want to bring any like judgmental energy, but I feel very weak when I am behaving in ways that are codependent because it's self-sabotaging. It's, um, you know, it's abandonment of the self and all that kind of stuff and, it's just wild, you know. I, I look back on my life and every time and, and and everything and all the times that I've been codependent, that I've carried out behaviors that are of codependency. Like, you know, it's it's like it was totally cool to learn a better way of living, <laughs> like, like. Uh, I'll just be blunt about it. Codependency sucks. I don't, I'm not going to say that it's good or bad. Um, I would argue that it's unhealthy, you know, in regards to being either healthy or unhealthy. Um, and so this whole thing of intuition, right? Let's look at it in the sense of anger, right? Um, anger arises usually because somebody is being mistreated. Right, treated unfairly, treated un uh, treated poorly, treated indecently, uh, boundaries are being violated, right? Um, but the interesting thing is that, like, when I look at intuition, I'm really doing the best that I can to sit with what it is that I feel before I, um, you know, react or respond. And it might just be a belief that it's challenging, but every time that I have reacted without thinking about what it is that I'm going to say in regards to what it is that I'm feeling, it's more often than not that negative things unfold, you know? And I don't like that. I really don't. I like to be able to take my time and sit with something and feel the energy that's there rather than just attacking, right? Um, the other thing too, and this is what I'm really... I, I've, I've been starting to see this for, I would argue, quite a few months now. Nothing in life is personal. I mean, of course, you know, don't go being indecent to people. Don't go being unkind to people, right? If you do that, whatever you get back, it's just it's a reflection of how you've treated them. But projections, displacements, like, these are all indicators and markers of other people's shit. They are, you know? That's why, like, nothing in life is really to be taken serious, uh, taken um, personally. Taken seriously, taken personally, all that kind of stuff. We are kind of just like walking projectors and displacers and all that stuff. The sublimation is the awesome stuff. When you can take pain and turn it into art, whether it's visual, audible, you know, um, written.
written, whatever it is, right? Um, but my intuition is something that I'm really learning to sit with because it's something that I was ripped right the hell out of. Um, and I think that that's true and accurate for a lot of people. I think that a lot of people were pulled outside of themselves. I think that they were pulled away from really getting to know themselves. You're not going to know who you are if your intuition, if you don't have a healthy relationship with your intuition, right? That entity speaks. It is basically a person's responsibility to be present with that and be like, okay, what is there? What is all of this stuff? Okay, but they're all telling me this other thing and I should do the opposite of that. I should do the opposite of what everyone else is telling me. It's not a matter of doing the opposite of what everyone else is telling a person. It's a matter of doing what the person feels is right or is necessary. I've had plenty of experiences where I've been in situations where my intuition is literally screaming at me to get the fuck out of the situation, right? And if I don't listen to that, I could be placing myself and my life in harm's way, right? And this would be a very interesting tattoo. <laughs> anyway, um, and this is why it's just, it's so cool to be here. Oh, we got some light going down here too. It's so cool. We got some light here too. It's so cool to be here now, like Ram Dass says, at this point in my life where the evolution of consciousness is unfolding before me and for me. See what I did there? It's unfolding before me and for me. Very important thing I just said there, by the way. Not only is it unfolding before me, but it's for me, right? That's not the victim mindset. That is the receiver's mindset. The victim mindset is happening to me. The receiver's mindset is happening for me, right? And so the more I sit with my intuition, the more I really ground with myself and allow myself to feel safe in my body because I can. I can, of course. I tuned into everyone else in the environment when I was younger to achieve a sense of safety because that's what happens in survival. However, not everyone is safe. 